oh boy have I been looking forward to making this video. I am going to talk about Fay Farm today and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons and I am 20 hours in already because I got a review code a few days earlier thanks to Phoenix Labs. Fay Farm is the new hot already mega hyped up farming and crafting life sim RPG that is now finally out on PC Steam and the Nintendo Switch. I am playing the PC Steam version and I heard from some sources that the PC version is better than the Switch version. As of recording right now I have not played the Switch version but I will still be talking about the actual game, what you can expect from the content, all the pros and cons. We are gonna go over the farming, the combat, the mining, the relationship aspects, all of it in this video. This game has multiplayer but I haven't played with anyone yet because it isn't out yet and the other content creators that I know got a code early. They have been busy with going to PAX. Looking at you Josh. But yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing multiplayer with like tiny hats and also yesterday I bought this game for my sister-in-law. She's been on this channel. She's the one with the full metal alchemist tattoo. I'm pushing this game now on people around me so that I get people to play multiplayer with. So, the general gameplay structure is what you can find in any life simulator. You have your farm, you grow your crops, you mine and collect resources and materials and you create stuff. You get what I'm saying. And I can already say that if you have already enjoyed Dreamlight Valley, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Rune Factory, you are now at the correct video. <laughs> So let's start out with the character customization. You can choose your voice, hair, body type, and your name is your Phoenix Lab account name, or your Steam account name, or your Nintendo Switch account name, whatever, something like that. So you cannot enter your name. Make sure that you have the name of the account that you wanna see in the game, if you know what I mean. But you can name your world. I named mine Isha World. Other than that, you can customize your character further with the furniture item that is a mirror. Click on that and you can change everything at any time. Also, you can collect and change out your outfits and these outfits you can also change the color of. You also get access to all sorts of hats later on in the game and you can also customize and collect your actual wings. If you want more outfits, you can buy them in town or get them from doing the job quest lines. If you are buying some outfits from town, you gotta have the required materials, also the money to get that. Now with house and farm customization, you start out with a small house, as you always do, and you can upgrade it gradually at the carpenter when you have the required materials. And you can eventually own several plots of land and several houses. So you will have plenty of space for your tree farm, for your maker stations, for your crops and for your animals. In fact, I spend a lot of time designing my layout of my farm, redecorating, and I'm like, now I wanna have my trees over here here my makers in one place and you know you can also put your makers inside of your house but I have them outside of my house just like I did in Rune Factory 5. So planning out the layout of your farm for me that is a fun gameplay feature in itself. You can make pathways, decorate with flowers, furniture, fences, trees and it is so fun. <laughs> Now let's talk about the farming in Fey Farm. With farming it goes like it just about any other game. You place down your soil beds and you purchase seeds from the market. You plant, water and grow. When you have upgraded your watering can it gets easier when you can water your crops with magic. That is so much fun but that also drains your magic meter. Also the higher your farming level the more crops unlocks for you at the seed shop. And when the season changes everything you have ever planted dies except for your trees, which is fine by me. This adds just a tiny bit of strategy. There are flowers and also crossbreeding, which means that you can get pink and orange flowers from planting your flowers in a pattern, just like in Animal Crossing. And I spent an eternity getting my first pink flowers for a quest early on, but I eventually did it.
Now let's talk about the makers in the game. You have got your cooking stations, your forge, your lumber station, artisan table, garden bench, loom, etc. And you can create a bunch of stuff with the materials that you have collected in these makers. So many things to make. Cooking is good. You have your chopping board. You can make drinks. Also, they are not overly complicated and just too many makers like we saw in Story of Seasons Pioneers of Holy Town. What I'm trying to say is that I like the makers. When it comes to animal care, so far I have a few chicken and a rabbit. I'm calling them funny names, as I like to do. They lay eggs and I feed them every day. Well, mostly every day. Some days I forget, but they are not mad at me so far. I like that we can dedicate a grazing area for them when they are outside with this signpost that you can put down and they will go graze where the signpost is because oftentimes they're in the way when I'm doing my crop work. And that is really convenient because then they don't wander around everywhere. Later on you can get sheep and cows. Apparently you can also later breed animals to be specific colors. I have not gotten to that part yet. Animal care is very basic stuff. You pet, you brush, you feed, you give them some fresh air. It is not mega interesting, it is just what you can expect. Now when it comes to fish and bugs, you can catch fish and you can catch bugs. Now let me explain the fishing to you because this was apparently confusing for a lot of people. You throw out your line, you wiggle it sometimes, the fish bites, and you watch the line. You press down your button when it is white, you release when it's red. That is it. I have now nailed the fishing in this game, no problemo. And then you have bug catching, simply swinging your net. It is very similar to Animal Crossing and any other life sim. Some fish are found on rainy days, some in ponds and some in rivers. Some bugs only come out when it's sunny. And like, I found a queen bee. Also, rare bugs and rare fish are to be found sometimes. I want to find them all when I'm looking at the catalog. I am enjoying my time with bug catching. Not so much with fishing, but bug catching is my favorite. So, mining and combat. You unlock your first mine somewhat early on and you progress it level by level. You will find copper and iron ores and later on gems which will be your primary source of income pretty soon and you are gonna have to place copper seals and later on iron seals in each level of the mine in order to unlock fast traveling in the mines with magic you can also later on smash several rocks at once when mining there are enemies in the mines and you simply whack them combat is super simplistic so far no dodge and no roll options and i have to say that i wish the combat had more to it Maybe I am so early in the game yet that I haven't unlocked more combat options. I am hoping for that. So that one I may have to come back to later. Questing and leveling. The things that we really enjoy doing in games like these. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. Uh, okay, so this is the fun part. Tons of side quests, romance quests, job quests, and of course the main quest. And most side quests are people wanting things like lumber, logs, copper ores, and blueberries. So I think you should just carry those things with you at all times, because these are the items that they are requesting so much in the beginning of the game. Another thing that is good is that you can track people from the map. Because in the beginning, you don't know people. All the guilds in the game, if I'm calling it that, they have something called jobs quest lines. It's like a list of quests and things to do. And this is fine. Some days I can dedicate to, for example, continuing my mining jobs quest line. And other days I can progress my cooking quests. Completing these gives you perks, rewards and outfits. Now, romance. I am apparently dating Jack and I didn't even realize that I was dating Jack. Suddenly I was dating Jack. But he seems like a good guy, so I mean, it's good, it's cool, we are cool. Now, giving gifts in Fae Farm I think is really restrictive. It's just that your romance options, the NPCs in the game that are romanceable, they have a specific gift that they want and that is it. If you don't have it, you are not giving them anything. That is super restrictive and I wish that it wasn't like that. Never seen that before. In a life sim, that's for sure. Conversation wise, I think most NPCs daily banter is really basic and not very interesting. However, the dating conversations, they were somewhat better. The conversations when you're actually on a date. 
with Jack, let's say. This is where you get to know them more deeply, <laughs> definitely. Now let's go over the pros and cons of Fay Farm, in my opinion so far. And I am only 20 hours in. Yeah. Okay, so cons. I think combat so far is too simplistic for my tastes and I am still hoping that I'm unlocking more to the combat. And I wish the map was more detailed because in the starting hours of the game I got so lost and you cannot really see on the map the pathways or the houses even or where you are. It's just a general cluster of people at the general areas of the map. I wish there were voice acting in this game. There there are only a lot of lolling. <laughs> Ishaman was like, why are they laughing so much? <laughs> well, I don't know, they are having a lol time. <laughs> okay, so this is maybe the biggest con for me so far, is that I'm hating the hot and cold weather effects. Like, for example, when it's hot outside, your character is sweating and you need to make these drinks, which are cold-resistant and heat-resistant drinks. And I just find this to be like a hassle. I don't see how this is uh, necessary in this game. I would have dropped that. It just takes away some fun factor sometimes. I don't see the point. Another thing is that I want to be able to sort my actual bag. You can sort your inventory like in the shed, in the, where you're storing all your items. That There you can sort your items, but uh, apparently not in your actual bag. There's another con. Now, don't worry, pros-wise, there are so many more pros than cons to Fae Farm. There's so many things that they have done absolutely correctly. Like, I am loving the graphics and performance. Let's start there. The graphics are really good. I am liking all of the colors and I'm liking the design of everything. And also, like, simple details, like when you're entering houses. It's really decorated, really put heart and soul into the graphics and the design of a lot of things in this game. It's looking really good good. Also, the mining music with a dramatic piano. Loving it. Music is good, sound effects is good. It's a really high production game and you can feel that when you're playing it. This is not some low production game. And I am also loving the amount of content so far. I'm loving the customization options and I am loving the fact that I am always feeling like I have a ton of things to do and several things I want to do. There's always something that I'm feeling like I'm progressing towards and that is the feeling that I'm after in Life Sims. I am loving Fay Farm so far. I want to go upstairs and play it right now. I am playing the Steam version, which I heard is the best version. <laughs> I don't know. But if you are getting this on your Nintendo Switch, I would appreciate it if you you got your Nintendo eShop cards from my store, eShopGaming.com, advertisement, and that way you also support my channel. Whenever you need eShop credits, this is the place where you get it. You get your redeemable code sent immediately to your email. Highly recommend that. Now, before you leave, I have a few fun things that Gust sent over. I won the screenshot picture taking contest that Atelier Risa 3 was having. What I won. Koei Tecmo Europe. Hello, Isha Gaming. Congrats, Risa 3 photo contest. A slime t-shirt. Look at that. And it is signed. Actual signed t-shirt. Thank you so much. Are you guys done with Risa 3? I'm not. So it's like a folder. All of the Atelier characters. Atelier series 25th anniversary. Super cute. Super wholesome. Thank you so much. Also, I found a letter in my post box. Larry. Every day is a good gaming day. Love your web channel. <laughs> your web channel. I hope you get this letter. Have a blessed day. Well, thank you for staying on my web channel. On the internet. Oh my god. This is a lot. <laughs> thank you, Larry. I wanted to write to thank you for such a wonderful YouTube channel. It's the best gaming information of any kind available. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> now hit like on this video if you like Fae Farm. Let me know what you think down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you later. <laughs>